hello guys and welcome back so now from this video onwards we will start adding the ledge player movement let me show you for now if we try to jump off this ledge as you can see the player simply jumps down okay so we actually don't want that we want that when the player is standing on the obstacle okay then we will not allow the player to jump okay because in Assassin's Creed if some of you guys has played that game in that game the player doesn't jump off the ledge by its own okay until the height of that obstacle is less okay so for example if the height of the obstacle is this much okay then we will not allow the player to jump of this area until the player who is controlling the game character presses the jump button okay in that case only we will allow the player to jump so let me show you how we will achieve that we can achieve this by measuring the angle between the normal vector of the ledge and the movement direction in which the player is trying to move so for example this red line is the normal vector and this blue line is the direction in which the player want to move okay and this circle is the player and this box okay I mean this square is the box and on top of the box the player is standing okay so if the player want to move in this direction the angle between the movement direction and the normal vector right here will be less than 90 and when it is less than 90 then we will not allow the player to move in this direction but if the angle between the normal vector and the movement direction is greater than 90 in this case we will allow the player to move okay so what this means it will basically prevent the player from moving forward to the ledge or you can say it will prevent the player from falling of the obstacle the player can only move in the backward direction or to the left or right okay we will only allow the player to jump if the player presses the space button okay so keeping that in mind if we open up our visual studio code right here in the environment checker as you can see we are getting an angle but this is the angle between the forward vector and the surface normal okay and as you know that we need a vector between the normal and the movement direction of the player so for getting that angle right here on the player script we will create a new method by the name of player ledge movement okay and in here we will create a float by the name of angle and now right here we will find the angle so we will do that in the same manner as we did on the in one when checker script okay we use vector 3 dot angle so right here we will say vector 3 dot angle and as you know that we need the angle between the normal and the move direction so we will say ledge info dot surface hit dot normal and then we want the movement direction so we will say move dir then we will say that if this angle is less than 90 then it means that the player is on the ledge so as I told you when the player is on the ledge we will not allow the player to move forward until the player presses the jump button and also we will not allow the player to rotate as well so for movement we need to make the velocity 0 so right here as you can see the velocity is a private variable so we need to make this velocity uh, public in order to access it so remove the VAR from there and then right here we will say vector 3 and let's name this velocity that is it so now right here we will 
make the velocity equals to vector 3 dot 0. Now after this we don't want the player to rotate so for that we will use the move dir but if we make the move dir to 0 then the player when it is not on the ledge then the player will not be able to rotate okay so we actually don't want that as well so for that what we will do we will create a new vector 3 by the name of required move direction and then what we will do in our player movement method right here we will remove this variable which is movement direction and instead of this we will type required move direction and right here in the move to this move direction we will pass the value of the required move direction and in here instead of the move direction we will just use the move dir and in here we will say velocity multiply by time dot delta time okay then if we scroll down to the method right here instead of the move direction we will call now the required move direction in order to find the angle and when the angle is less than 90 then we will set the move direction to vector 3 dot 0 so now if we move up right here when the player is on the ledge okay inside this if condition we will call the player ledge movement method okay so everything is set up now as I told you we will only jump whenever we press the jump button or you can say the space button so right here on the parkour controller script right here when we make the player jump okay so right here in this if condition we will say that if the player is on the ledge not in action and if there is nothing in front of the player then with this we will also say that if the jump button is also pressed so we will say input dot get button jump and if we save this get back to unity okay and let me show you the jump button in the input manager right here okay this is the jump button which is set to space okay so make sure that you do that as well and now we are ready to test it so if we play the game okay let's go ahead and jump on this obstacle now if we move towards the ledge as you can see the player is not jumping of this ledge unless we press the space button as you can see okay now if we climb this obstacle okay and move towards the ledge as you can see the player rotates okay so it means that the player is now not moving or you can say jumping of this ledge okay unless we press the space button so now with this added let's end this video right here